So hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. Apologies first for, um, it's been quite a while since I've done the last vlog, in fact, back well before spring. And um, I've just been so busy with running workshops, family commitments, and also prepping to move to Canada in a few months time. So an awful lot on, and um, obviously been in the woodland doing quite a bit of work as well. So I'm here at the moment in our woodland, as you're well aware, eight and a bit acres of, um, ancient woodland which is lovely and as a lot of you know who've been following me for a while now um, we've got quite a lot of mammal species in here we've got fox badger stoat polecat deer um, and all other manner of species um, and at the moment you know i've um, been putting loads of trail cameras out just to see what's about and what's occurring so last year i tried with the badgers and the foxes and unfortunately to no avail last year um, badgers didn't produce anything not that i saw and the fox um, produced one cub, which was a bit of a, a small number really. I think it was really bad um, earlier in the year, weather-wise, ground was hard, etc. Foraging and just everything was a bit quiet. But um, so I've been really working hard. I've had about seven trail cameras constantly on the go, constantly checking them, downloading times, dates, etc. Doing the field craft. Um, and thankfully this year, the fox cubs have moved earth and they've gone further down on the divide basically between the deciduous and the coniferous part of the woodland and they've um, in an old earth I think um, and I put a few cameras up there and lo and behold the other day um, I saw three fox cubs then I saw four and then I saw five so absolutely over the moon I did spend a brief session um, with the hide down the end um, just watching, observing them, getting a few little shots, and uh, it was great to see. I've now since relocated the hind a bit further down, so I'm getting an eye level um, view right into the uh, earth. Um, so this is literally my second session. Um, I'm hoping to get lucky. Weather's been a bit dodgy. Um, today, wind's in the right direction, so the earth is there, the hind is there, and the wind is going that way. So I'm um, blowing my scent well and truly away from the fox earth itself so that's good um shell cam has been picking up loads of stuff they've um been hunting really really well um picking in loads of rabbits loads of voles and things and birds so yeah they're looking pretty good so we're going to get in there can't really talk too much um due to the fact that obviously my noise of my voice got to keep things down to a minimum now when i was here before i witnessed the cubs playing i was a little bit further away and there was no adult there now i think the adult had come out i was slightly lower down the adult probably came out sniffed the air all safe out come the uh, cubs so i'm gonna track in i'll talk when i can um do the best i can and whisper quietly but they've been coming out at different times of day so they've been coming out at half nine in the morning half ten twelve o'clock two o'clock three o'clock eight o'clock six o'clock i mean the pan's all over the shop um, that's one good thing about the trail cameras it can reveal a lot of the times unfortunately the fox cubs don't come out until quite a lot later in the evening so while this light's good a good bit of weather today light wind about 20 miles an hour northwesterly so it's perfect for me and I've got to get in here soon because the wind's changing to the east and the hide's in the wrong place and it'll blow my scent right to them so yeah enough talking guys I think that's nearly four minutes of chatting um, just want to get down there and uh, get amongst it and uh, just want to say guys as always thanks for you all for sticking with me um, you know it's been a bit quiet over the last month or so um, but I'm back and I'll do a few videos before I leave for Canada and then I'll crack on as soon as I get out there. But um, anyway, get to it. Let's get down there, get set up and see what happens. So there you guys, there's the, that's the Monol V2 hide, which was originally here for the Fox Earth at the top, but they didn't go in that one this year. So that's kind of there at the moment, because we get a lot of roe deer and stuff coming through, but I'm just leaving that in situ at the moment. We're gonna head down now. What I'm doing is I'm trying to go around so I don't walk right past the, um, the Fox Earth, and then the scent will be straight there. I'll come around behind. Hopefully my scent will be blown away. I'll come in that end. So guys, this is the beaten up hide down here, my old night hawk and the earth. It's right over there. Fuck's 
This is my current view at the moment, um, which is quite nice. Pretty good view. All we need now is some boxes. Beautiful. Lovely to hear the woodpecker there. Great spot in alarm calling. Awesome. So guys, we've got a lovely bit of light coming through here at the moment. It's quite nice because you've got lots some dappled light on the forest floor. And um, you've got the bluebells still looking pretty good. So they make for a lovely picture. There's lots of little old dead stumps for them to climb on, ex explore around. I'm hoping they're going to come out and just sit out, bask, have a nice time outside in the sun. All being well, but they just might not turn up until six hours time I just really don't know but it's the time I've got available so so I'm shooting at the moment as I said with the kit I've got I'm also I'm um, got completely silent shutter not even um, the lowest noise setting possible just so I can literally make myself be as quiet as possible um, I've switched the IS off on the uh, on the lens because it's quite noisy this one even for the EF apologies for the drilling and planing down there we've got a boat yard and uh, that's kind of constant pattern helicopters, but um, yeah, all good to go really, um, current settings at the moment. So, so we're looking at 800th of a second, f2.8, and uh, ISO is at um, 1600 at the moment. We've had loads of deer through as well, um, recently, um, pregnant roe doe went through, um, and there's been a lot of row bucks here, but I haven't seen any does apart from that one. Um, I was in the hide the other day and one comes thundering through. It got wind of me, it was, I was, in the, it was behind me. It went on a bit further, lost my scent, and then didn't know what to do. And it came firing down the back and went up behind me and shot off. So uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, it's great to be back, guys. I have missed it, and uh, it's great to be here. So glad the foxes are doing so well this year. I mean, it's fantastic. But I'm going to shut up now and uh, go quiet, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm 
hours session here today, sort of eight to ten hours, and I just haven't got the time to, to really use all that, but today I have, so I'm just going to make the best of it, really. So, out in the open, have a bit of a play, you know, as, as uh, cubs do, um, it'd be fantastic. No guarantees, though. It is good to be out though. There's all sorts of stuff going on around me, bird life. I've seen the buzzards down below coming into the nest, which is quite nice to see. Saw one of the buzzards bringing in quite a large um, bit of prey to the nest, um, to the female who's still on eggs at the moment. Not sure how many, but um, we'll obviously do a bit of time with the buzzards too as well. But uh, yeah, fantastic, plot on. Got another six, eight hours to go. See if I'm still smiling in eight hours' time. We'll see. I'm sure I will be. So, guys, that's four hours down with not one picture of a fox. Although I have got some bluebells and some birds so far. Yeah, another maybe six hours to go. Just check the trail cameras and they've not been out at all in daylight today. That kind of bodes well for my peak time for fox activity. Being 15.30, so plus three. All being well, sometime after that, up until about eight o'clock, I'll have some luck. But there's no guarantees in wildlife photography. Just have to wait and see. This could be a 10 hour sesh. Um, yeah, just keep my fingers crossed and uh, hopefully we'll get lucky.
young one, obviously, the young cubs were just all over each other, chasing, climbing, biting. Um, <clears throat> Vixen's long gone. Um, you can tell them Vixen by the more narrower face, the male's a bit more broad, and uh, she came up the bank from nowhere. There must be another exit hole, or she was laying up or something. She was literally 15 feet in front of me. I was like, gonna get laid here. But she just went round in front of me three times to circuit all the way around and then just went off. The young just stayed there. Played absolutely fantastic. She has gone completely quiet now. Um, there are some lovely shots there. The interaction with the Cubs playing. A nice few shots of the Vixen there staring at the camera. Staring at me not necessarily. Hyde's been here for weeks. Clouds come over a bit now, just as I put the teleconverter on. So now I'm shooting at 420 mil at f4, hoping to get a few tighter shots. Um, but yeah, I'm just over the moon. Um, so I've been in the hide six hours, and then they turned up. So oh, yeah, fantastic. I might get another crack of the whip later. But um, yeah, mm -hmm. that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. An idea as always. Just stopped, looked through the front of the hide and just watched them with my own eyes. Because sometimes you just look through the camera so much. Then they go and then you look out and it's all dead and it's like you've never seen it. So I hope you can hear me okay guys. I'm trying to keep my voice down a bit. Obviously just in case a vixen or the dog comes back. guys there's a smile we don't always get um, well I'm not always unhappy when I don't get results but um, I'm never happy when I get good results and uh, yeah today fantastic um, I spent nearly eight hours in there in the hide and um, although it's now about sort of six o'clock I could have pushed on till eight half eight but I never like to push my luck I went there I got some great results pushing it too much, possibly, you know, introducing some stress to the, to the foxes and to the cubs. Um, you know, I just don't want to risk things like that. So I don't want to take, take the pee too much and then just overdo it. So um, it's nice just to leave them be now. And there's no way in this world that that fox knew that I was in that hide. There is no way that Vixen is going to allow me 25 foot from those fox cubs unattended you know it's just one of those things and one thing you gotta be careful of with foxes as well especially at this sort of age we think they're around about six weeks is that they can then move their young to another earth and i don't want to introduce any stress like that um so always mindful all the time is never to push your luck think of the welfare of the animals first birds whatever you're taking pictures of and just you know put them first you know at the head of your images. It's great to get a few images in the bag, don't get me wrong. And when you first start in photography, you just want to get results, 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 you know, and then it's just not all about that. The thing that upset me most is if I went there and I caused them any stress. You know, the wind was in the right direction, the hive was far enough away. And one thing I didn't mention at the start is that um, I walk that path every single day, twice a day with my dogs and those foxes know my routine. I stick to it every day, every morning, every evening, same sort of times. And funny old thing, the times that I ever, I usually end up leaving the woodland is about three o'clock, quarter to three, three o'clock, and they came out today at half three. And that's when I go home to pick up my son. So, and in the morning, they don't come out until after I've done my dog walk. They just know my routine. So, um, and what I've done, because that hide is really old and knackered, it's been there for ages, 
I did also have an old sweaty t-shirt of mine. Now that is in the hide. It, it's just in there because my scent's everywhere. If she could smell that daily, goes up to the hide at night, there's no threat, she just smells it, knows it's me, I'm in there normally. Happy days. It may not totally work, but she was 50, she came 50, 12, 15 foot away from the hide as she was doing her circular recce around to make sure it was safe. Then she went back like the third or fourth time. She went to the front of the earth, sniffed, did her thing and out come the young and then off she went to hunt. So for me, I got some cracking images, got some cracking bit of video as well. I was so pleased with it, but leaving there knowing that I've thought about their welfare and I've left them be now and not pushed it for me is the icing on the cake really and that's the t that's the probably the first time I've ever photographed um, fox cubs so young so for me really really chuffed I'm looking forward to following these guys for a few more weeks until they decide to start moving and they'll leave the earth then and then go off um, and move around the woodland and settle up somewhere else but uh, yeah Thanks guys, it's great to be back. I've really missed it. I hope you really enjoyed this. You know, if you've got any questions for me, please fire them my way. Um, I did put the, um, the telly on at the end, but unfortunately the foxes uh, didn't materialize um, for that. But next time I do a session, I think I'm gonna try and see if I can get a few images shooting at F4 with that 1.4 telly on, giving me that little bit of tighter reach there um, onto the fox cubs. But uh, great guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.